I mean, he is the consummate action man. For Pete to be lying on a beach, you just didn't see it. He would be the one windsurfing or surfing. His attitude to life is, don't waste the precious time. You know, whatever I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it well. I try anything, do anything, live hard, work hard mindset and that has turned into a reputation where you couldn't get me to sit down and then the diagnosis hit me and since then is the life where I'm not allowed to stand up. So I have a geoblastoma, it's an incurable brain cancer. Every time I hear the words incurable it's devastating. When the diagnosis came he'd just been on a mountain biking trip he felt very dizzy and um, he had a headache, so that was unusual for him. All of a sudden, he had balance issues. He was unable to do as much as he had been able to do. But the reality is it's, it's a long way from the lifestyle I really want. Yeah, there was always this busyness going all over the world, doing heli skiing and snowboarding, telemarking. Pete's ethos is that, you know, get up and get busy. And uh, if you're tired or you're ill, you go to bed and there's no in between. The busyness has, um, has given way to something a lot more precious. Time together, time to really talk deeply about things. You know, what, what are his wishes? What would he want for Emily? This process has been a gift. I went to the tennis club and I found a coach called Daniel. This is my illness. This is the help I would like. He said, that's okay. We all start at the beginning. That's all right. So hitting some tennis balls has been great. It's been something that's kept him going. And he might have a seizure on the court. I would have a big bag with everything that we needed and he'd be sick. And then off he'd go again playing tennis. It's been crucial and vital to Pete's happiness. I think it's been a very difficult thing to, for him to come to terms with that he can't do what he wants to do. I don't know how he would have coped had it not been available. One thing I discovered with tennis is how much pleasure it is to learn. I'm learning something I wish I'd learned over 10 years ago. I wish I'd had the pleasure to teach it to my daughter. It's almost like a sense of meaning, the learning aspect of it. You know, and I think that's the same for all of his endeavours. But this tennis thing is almost like a real bug. He's had it all his life in that he's never been good at tennis. And this was something that he could do now that the other stuff wasn't available to him. When you go to the palliative care side of things, it wasn't right in hospital. He was a fool's risk and he didn't want anyone to take him to the bathroom after he just had his surgery. He wanted to get there himself. And, you know, his attitude was, well, I can do this and I'm doing it and I will do this. I've wanted to give him the opportunity to do what he wanted to do in a way that he wanted to do it. He had radiotherapy and he had chemotherapy. He was being sick a lot. I mean, I had a wheelchair because he couldn't, he couldn't walk, but he very soon got himself back on his feet. My neighbours told me that they saw him cycling on his mountain bike up Birrell Street, which is quite a steep hill, without any help, no assistance. He was doing this twice a week. That was Pete, you could, there was no stopping him. After I got the diagnosis, I thought, to hell with this, I am not gonna let this get me down. And then just as I got going, it did get me down. For a while he needed care in the hospital. I would come each day and he would be in the fetal position. I've never seen people like that. He's always kept on carrying on, no matter what. He's consistently walking towards the goal. As long as you're working on something, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't need to matter what it actually is. I've spent years working at surfing. And if you're a surfer, then you'll know that you can spend years and still be rubbish, but you can you can get a lot of pleasure out of it. I realise what a gorgeous thing having a family is, what a precious thing. Live the life you want to live, be the person you want to be. What, what has made life so special that things have been thrilling and exciting all the way through?